Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. We're talking about iOS web browsers today, Norman Chan. On the iPad. Now, there are a ton of third-party web browsers from the very beginning, but we've been kind of skeptical. A lot of them were bad. Just, just out. slow, bad. bad features, didn't work, crashed a lot, didn't render pages right, whatever. Things have changed. Some of them were actually good. We've tested out the top three. Let's go look at them right now. The first web browser is Mercury. Mercury. The, the Roman god of speed. Hermes also. Messenger. Also something. things you should not ingest, but maybe in fish. Alchemists used to drink mercury to make themselves magical. So this browser already looks like a full desktop web browser. You got tabs. There are tabs. It's like Firefox 3. Yes. Um, and uh, there are a bunch of other features in this browser. So uh, we're running it in the landscape usage right now because over HDMI, it does look a little stretched. Some weird um, stuff is happening. But trust us, the on the actual iPad, it looks fine. Um, so nice things about this, full screen support, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Take away the, the menu uh, on top. It has a pop-up radial menu when you do a double tap. Yep, but so only go, pops up in the, in the uh, center. Pops, the up, pops up in the middle. Uh, something you'll like is in full screen mode, the controls, the back and forward controls are all along the bottom yeah, of the screen. Yeah, finally. Uh, so it's perfect because the back and forward are actually on the bottom left. And then on the bottom right, what do you have, sir? Uh, this is the, the radial, radial menu, menu and full screen, not full screen. Oh, man. I wish the radial menu was on the bottom right. So other things, my thumb. two finger swipe moves between tabs. I mean, it's okay. pretty fully featured in that regard. Click the settings uh, button on the top right. I'm just going to go to it in the radial menu. Oh, okay. So you do have a, a lot of setting options, uh, privacy. So there is... Uh, there's, a, there's, there's a private browsing yes. mode, which is important if you want to buy if your you wife a gift. If you want to buy a surprise gift for your wife, but don't want her to know that you've been shopping at Flower website. Lots and lots of gestures. Mm -hmm. You can change, of course, this is a fairly standard feature in aftermarket right. browsers, but you can identify as mobile, iPhone, whatever you want if, you're, yes. if your site doesn't If your show site up. only works in there's IE6. There's an ad blocker in here. Oh. I don't know exactly how you feel about that. As a site that runs ads, mm. I like ads when they're respectful and nice. When they're respectful, um, you can configure your own search engine. It has the it has the, the you know the, the the location bar and menu bar. Not an awesome bar, omni bar type. So how many metaphor. tabs? Like open a bunch of tabs. Uh, it and, starts and, to get real slow. Okay. Um, all and all of these, in fairness, the tabs get real slow. are are cached until it runs out of memory. Basically, yes. So I just opened like six new websites. They're not they're not filling in automatically. Um, I'm kind of okay with that, but I think this is going to go poorly pretty quickly. Uh, what what about clicking like there? This shows you a tab window. Uh, it's hard to tap. Oh man, it is small. getting a little slow. So and it's getting very sluggish. So uh, this is all the tabs that are open. You right did now. run SunSpider on this, and compared to Safari, especially on 4.3.1, this is going to be slower. It took more than twice as long. Uh, Safari wow. was turning in like a 2200 score. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is turning in a five five thousand score. All of these third party browsers are about the same speed in SunSpider, right? Like a, a five five and a half seconds. Because they score. don't take advantage of the new JavaScript rendering. No, they don't. It's it's definitely not not awesome. Now, in that in, regard, in actual practice, a lot of times, even though a browser might be slower in Safari or SunSpider or faster, um, you. There's no actual difference. Is there an actual difference um, in, in the scrolling? When you the do site? the comparison side by side with a, with a current iPad 2 running Safari, mm -hmm. yes, it is noticeably slower. This does support video out on the iPad, I believe. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we're having these weird rendering problems, is that we're using the iPad 2 and trying to do video out. You have to trust us. It is still smooth, scrolling relatively smooth. I mean, it's going to be faster than an iPad 1, uh, but in a direct comparison with Safari on iPad 2, um, it is just a little bit slower, just a little bit stuttery. It's just hitchy. A little bit hitchy yeah. um, when you even have just one page open. Let's look at the next browser, Norm. The next browser is Skyfire. Mm. This is very, very notable because this is a web browser. It works for I iPhone and iPad. You can play Flash videos. Flash videos, kinda, kinda. Um, so the way this works, the big, the big feature in this is, of course, Flash videos. It has all sorts of kind of interesting uh, integration with uh, social networks, Twitter, yep. Google Reader, that stuff. I have a really hard time with it never saving my login information, which mm. renders that essentially useless, because I'm not going to type that stuff in every single time I use this. But Flash Video. Flash Video. How does it work? I'm going to go watch some full episodes of South Park right You're, here. So it, it, on the Skyfire homepage, it does give you like a list of sites uh, that yeah, it works that are best friendly. on. Um, I tested a bunch of sites. It works on everything from like all the way. Oh, there it goes. This is get flash. Oh, wait, we can't. But if you tap this video button down at the bottom edge oh, of the screen, it detects that it there says is flash analyzing on the page. And what it actually does is Skyfire on their servers 
takes a flash video exactly. and converts it to HTML5 and on then the plays it on the fly. There is a bit of a delay, maybe like 20 Takes about 20 seconds. 20 seconds yeah. uh, if you're over Wi Fi, and, but it works. Uh, you, Stunningly you, well. You're going to get flash video. You're going to get it's probably not going to work. Right now. All the ads. Of course, it's not working when we actually want to show it working. There and we go. Here we go. It works with AirPlay, so you can blast it over to the Apple TV. Uh, now, the one thing it doesn't do is let you display video on the iPad and the TV at the same time. And there's occasionally some buffering, mm -hmm. especially when you're watching one. Yeah, course. it does look like because it's transcoding, it's trying to do it as fast as possible, the resolution isn't as great. Um, but if you're limited to, I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, and it does work out. This is an iPhone, iPad app as well. Uh, so other features it supports. It, it, well, first off, you can do live as well. It doesn't have to yeah. be recorded. Yeah. So if you have to go, we did go this to with Justin, Justin TV, TV a while ago. Or UStream, it'll actually transcode that video. At the same time, here goes some StarCraft stream. And uh, again, it'll take it about 20, 20 seconds. seconds. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to wait. Yeah, I'm that's, not that's not wait. Uh, other things it supports private browsing. Mm -hmm. You it simplifies the browser identification quite a bit. So you just hit browser, iPad, or desktop. Nice. Um, the private browsing switch is good. You can get into more settings. There's themes. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, Mercury had themes. This does not have themes. You can clear cookies. Uh, you I can... mean, it's it's. This is pretty bare bones. Yeah. The social network stuff seems to be the main selling point. Except, like I said, it always signs me out, which is a super right. huge bummer. I'm not the biggest fan of the social networking stuff. I think I would keep this installed just to play flash videos uh, when I wanted to. Uh, but I would not use this as my primary iPad web browser. No, and that's exactly how I've been using it. Uh, it does have a full screen mode as well, which is kind of handy. Uh, so that's Skyfire. Uh, it's worth having just for Flash. I think. Yep. Finally, Atomic Web Browser. You've been using this a lot, Norm, right? I cannot believe. I don't know how I used the iPad before Atomic Web Browser. This is, I think, far and away, my favorite new web browser for the iPad. Um, so it does a lot of the same things that the Mercury does. You got the tab browsing. I love the interface. Um, you have full screen mode, top right hand corner. Uh, it does not have. I guess it does have. Oh, it has gestures bottom controls on uh, on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, very similar. You can open new tab. Two fingers to swipe between yep. tabs. Yeah. You do have the gestures as well. If you go to the settings, um, hit that settings menu. That's, that was a three I finger made it full screen gesture. Um, you have uh, private mode, uh, which you can enable, disable for gift buying. For, for gift buying again. Yeah. Um, you have very similar settings, increased font size, but go, go to the actual full settings menu at the very bottom. More settings? Many, many. Oh, uh, you can of course identify the browser or something else, which, settings. Is, which yep. is an incredibly useful feature. I love being able to highlight this Dropbox. It'll just create a new folder in your Dropbox. When you download a file, you actually save the file locally, and then okay. there's an option to send to Dropbox, and then you can sync it up. Um, video plays very well. Uh, like Mercury, it's not going to be as fast as Safari in 4.3.1, uh, but it was. Well, fast enough. I mean, I'm using it on my iPad One, and it's still very, very usable. Um, it, it does cache web uh, web pages in the tabs and uh, there are your, your files. I haven't downloaded anything. Um, I feel like and, it's you know, failure. you can hold an image down, and you can there you go, download it in the background. Oh, hello. Yep, Where do I want to save it? Documents. Save it documents. Okay. documents. What do you want to save Boom. it as? You can open the file right there. Uh, it's just very, very capable. Things I wish Safari had. Ooh, view source. That's and, uh, crazy. Yeah, it's it's a very very capable web browser. Atomic web browser. Um, so I've had a couple of problems with okay. it. Okay. Uh, one is that I sometimes, despite the fact that I use the identify browser thing to show it as a different browser, mm -hmm. doesn't seem to work. That so is that for example, very strange. On the iPad two, you have the newest version of Atomic web browser. I'm using the latest version. And you, I go to you go to tested. I can't go to the full version of tested no matter what. You only get Same the mobile thing site. Same for one of the Gawker sites as well. But for me, on my iPad one. It works just fine. Everything's been groovy. A little bit inconsistent. I'm not sure if it's because of versioning. It, it could be a bug in the current version. It, like, the thing is, none of these browsers are something you're going to use all the time. You're always going to hit problems and need to fire up Safari for, for some stuff, yes. which illustrates the reason why Apple needs to get on the ball mm -hmm. and make Safari awesome. I, I mean, I use multiple. It's, it's actually, it makes the iPad more of even like a desktop experience. Because on my desktop, I use multiple web browsers. I use Chrome for some things, oh. Firefox for other things. Now on the iPad, I can use Atomic for when I need private browsing and when I need tabs. And then when I use Safari when I just want to get to a web page really fast and have it load really fast. Yeah, and, and like the others, this was turning in a SunSpider score of around like 5,500 yeah. uh, milliseconds, which is not awesome. Not awesome, but still very usable. Yeah. So let's go back to the bricks and wrap this up. So after using these browsers for a few days, I, I mean, Skyfire is neat because you can watch Flash video. It's something I would keep installed, but definitely would not be on the bottom bar. Yeah, no, no, I, I don't think any of these browsers rate bottom bar well. placement. 
Atomic's pretty good, but just the weird problems I'm having with Tested and the Gawker sites and some other things, I'm not going to use that on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm sticking with Safari. What about you, Norm? I am actually going to use Atomic. I didn't run into any of those problems. That has replaced Safari in my bottom bar. I love Atomic Web Browser, and maybe you do too. For Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.